I am going to be doing one of my most requested videos, which is my nail polish collection and storage. And I've been getting tons of requests to do this video, and I've done a nail polish collection video before, and I think that was like a couple years ago, something like that. But as you can imagine, my nail polish collection has grown quite a bit since I'm a huge nail polish junkie. So I'm going to show you guys how I store my nail polish and you guys will get to see every single color. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's go ahead and jump into everything. So this is where I store all of my nail polish and I just have everything hanging here on my closet door and I normally have this on the inside of my closet door but I brought it around to the front so you guys could see everything easily. I have everything stored in this uh, shoe organizer that's from Bed Bath & Beyond and I really like this because it's very low maintenance and it's super easy to do and I think this cost me $15. So this just hangs on the door, it comes with these hooks here at the top and it's super easy. You can just put it over any door that you want and it stores a ton of nail polish. I don't even have this completely full yet, but I really love this for nail polish because you can see all of the colors that you need. You can organize this in whatever way works for you. I personally just like to go by color. I don't worry too much about sorting things by brand because when I look for a particular nail polish, I'm looking for a certain color, not so much a brand. So I just have everything sorted here by color and I'm going to go over everything with you guys. I have reds and darker reds up here. So the first one right here is Essie Carry On. Then I have China Glaze Sugar Plum and then this is like my favorite color for winter and fall. This is OPI Will Always Have Paris. And then I have OPI Bastille My Heart, which is very similar to Will Always Have Paris, but it has some shimmer in it. And then OPI's Waka Waka and OPI's Dreaming of Red. And then on this side, I have Berry M's Raspberry Sephora by OPI Personal Shopper, OPI Cajun Shrimp, OPI Red My Fortune Cookie, OPI Love is a Racket, and OP, not OPI, China Glaze Ring in the Red. And then in this area, I have my violet reds slash pinks and mauves. So in here, I have Essie Big Spender, which I have on my nails right now, with another color over the top. You guys will see it in a bit. And then Essie Bahama Mama, China Glaze 108 Degrees, Essie Recessionista, OPI Pompeii Purple, Butter London Queen Vic, OPI Meep Meep Meep, Essie Watermelon, Essie Raspberry, and Butter London's Disco Biscuit. And then in here I have Sephora by OPI It's All About Me, Sally Hansen Twisted Pink, Sephora by OPI Techno Girl, Essie Eternal Optimist, Essie Ladylike, Revlon Vintage Rose, Essie Angora Cardi, which is amazing. This is such a beautiful color, especially for fall. And Essie Marathon. Now moving on into my most popular little pocket here. This one is pretty full up to the brim. And this is where I keep my brighter pinks, um, corals, brighter peaches, stuff like that. So up here on top, I have Berry M Flamingo, Revlon Sweet Tart, China Glaze Shocking Pink, Essie Knockout Pout, Essie Tart Deco, MAC Playday, Butter London Trout Pout, OPI Kazu Melted the Sun, Essie Cute as a Button, Berry M Coral, L'Oreal Tangerine, Revlon Craving Coral, Butter London Macbeth, Deborah Lippman Day Tripper, Essie Peach Daiquiri, and Sally Hansen Crushed. And then over here, I have my creamy, milky, baby pink colors and peaches and sheer pinks. So here I have Sephora by OPI Dear Diary, Essie East Hampton Cottage, Essie Accrued Interest, Essie Vanity Fairest, Essie Fiji, which is one of my go-to nail polish colors, Essie Sugar Daddy, which is my favorite sheer pink, Essie Vandigo, MAC Midsummer's Dream, Essie Imported Bubbly, Berry M Peach Melba, OPI Pink Friday, Butter London Teddy Girl, Berry M Strawberry Ice Cream, and OPI Pinking of You. 
And then in here I have yellows and peachy gold colors. So this one is Deborah Lippmann Yellow Brick Road. Butter London Cheeky Chops, which is my favorite yellow nail polish. Del Sol Sun Kissed, which is nail polish that changes color in the sun. So it changes to this corally pink color. China Glaze Peachy Keen. OPI Pros and Bronze. OPI Peachaboo, which I actually haven't used yet. Zoya Pippa. And Essie Shifting Power. In here, I have yellowy green colors. So this one is China Glaze Electric Pineapple, Sally Hansen Ivy League, China Glaze Trendsetter, OPI Did It On Em, Orly Glow Stick, which is an incredible fluorescent yellow, Berry M Acid Yellow, and OPI's Who the Shrek Are You? And this was actually a gift from Allison or Amariques, and this polish is the polish that started my love for yellowy green nail polishes. And then over here I have darker green this one is OPI's Uh Oh Roll Down the Window. OPI Jade is the new black. China Glaze Watermelon Rind. OPI Cuckoo for this color. Essie De Bush. Revlon Color Stay Spanish Moss. And Butter London Wallace. I have lighter greens in here, so I'm going to start off with Essie Turquoise and Caicos, Berry M Mint Green, Pop Beauty Mint Magic, Butter London Bossy Boots, Essie Navigate Her, Essie Absolutely Sure, L'Oreal Club Privé, and China Glaze Refreshment. And then in here I have lighter blues, so this is Hard Candy Sky, Essie Borrowed in Blue, Berry M Blueberry Ice Cream, OPI What's with the Catitude, and Sally Hansen Barracuda. And right here I have darker bluish greens. So this one, I wasn't sure whether to put this with purples or blues, but I just decided to put it here because it's a little bit of both. This is Butter London's Knackered, Butter London Slapper, China Glaze for Audrey, Sally Hansen Marine Scene, Orly It's Up to Blue, Revlon Color Stay Blue Slate, and Essie Fair Game. And then I have Royal Blues and Indigos. This one is Butter London Blagger. China Glaze Frostbite, Berry M Indigo, China Glaze Blue Iguana, Berry M Navy, Sally Hansen Pacific Blue, and H&M Blew My Mind. Right here I have darker purples, and this one from OPI is Visions of Sugar Plum. And then this is the other color that I'm wearing on my nails today. This one is China Glaze Senorita Bonita. Sally Hansen Deep Purple, Zoya Gem, OPI Lincoln Park at Midnight, and Zoya Menu. Right here I have my lighter purples. So this one is Essie Lilacism, Berry M Pale Purple, Nicole by OPI Miss Independent, Sally Hansen Commander in Chic, Essie Nothing Else Metals, Essie Pilates Hottie, Models Own Utopia, China Glaze Light as Air, and Revlon Gumdrop. And then I have like silver, purpley, blue, grays, stuff like that in this little section. So this one is China Glaze Platinum Silver, China Glaze Jitterbug, Revlon Princess, Revlon Silver Screen, China Glaze CG in the City, and Essie Cocktail Bling. And then these are like the muddy purpley colors. So this one is Essie Merino Cool, Essie Master Plan, OPI Skull and Gloss Bone, Sephora by OPI Metro Chic, Rimmel Steel Gray, and Essie Chinchilli. And then these are my nudes and like taupey colors. So this one is China Glaze Naughty, Revlon Gray Suede, Deborah Lippmann Naked, Essie Sand Trope, OPI Your Doll, and Butter London Yummy Mummy. So these are my golds and coppers and stuff in that color family. So this one is OPI Dazzled by Gold, Revlon Caddy, Revlon Copper Penny, Max Soiree, China Glaze Passion, OPI Designer De Better, which is a silver with like rose gold flecks in it. So it's a really warm silver color, which I love. Orly Rage, which is a rose gold color, Essie Buy Me a Cameo, and Butter London's Old Bill. In here I have darker browns, bronzes, and stuff like that. So this one is Warm and Fozzy from OPI, OPI Take the Stage, OPI Brisbane Bronze, Essie Mink Muffs, China Glaze Ingrid, yes this nail polish has my name which is pretty cool. I don't know if my camera will focus in on that. There it is. But 
yeah, this color is called Ingrid, which I think is pretty awesome. Essie, very structured. And OPI, Espresso, your style. And then in these two sections over here, I have glitter nail polishes. So I've just separated them from the colored ones to the like silvery gold ones over here. So in the colored section, I have Revlon Blue Mosaic, Berry M Aqua Glitter, Butter London Rosy Lee, China Glaze Mrs. Claus, Essie, a cut above, Sinful Colors Pinky Glitter, and OPI Excusez-moi. And then here I have China Glaze Snow Globe, Deborah Lippman Today Was a Fairy Tale, OPI Rainbow Connection, OPI Parouette My Whistle, and this glitter polish from Etudie House. I'm not sure what the name is because everything is either in Thai or Korean on the packaging. And I got this in Thailand, but this is just a sparkly nail polish with rainbow hearts inside. This is Essie Shine of the Times, and I am loving this, especially as a top coat over a color for fall. Covergirl Disco Dazzle, China Glaze Twinkle Lights, and another color changing Del Sol nail polish in Ruby Slipper. So this turns into a glittery red. Now, these polishes down here are polishes that I would use over other colors. So I have a couple glitters and then some that have a slight sheen to them. So when you turn them around in the light, you can see a different color. This one is Butter London's Hen Party, and when you turn it in the light, you can kind of see like a purpley blue color. This is Happy Anniversary from OPI. Revlon Facets of Fuchsia, and I like putting this on top of black nail polish. Butter London the Black Knight is also another color that I like to layer over black. This one is really cool because it has this multicolored glitter in it. And then this one is OPI's Eye Juggle Men, and this was a gift from my friend Holly, or Holly Says Hey here on YouTube. And I think the name of this polish is just absolutely hilarious. But um, when you turn it in the light, there's a slight blue shimmer in this, which is pretty cool. And then here are my black and white nail polishes, and I have these separate from the rest of my colors just so I can find them easily, but the white is Sephora by OPI Aha Moment, and then the black is OPI's Black Onyx. And then in these last two pockets, I just have base coat stuff and top coat stuff. So over here, I have my Deborah Lippmann Turn Back Time base coat, which is like my favorite base coat because this one is an anti-yellow base coat. And then I have two of the Revlon top and base coat, but I prefer using this as a base coat rather than a top coat. And then the OPI Ridge Filler. And then for top coats, I have the OPI top coat and the Sally Hansen Insta Dry top coat, which is my absolute favorite. This stuff is amazing. So that is it for my nail polish collection and storage, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you wanna leave any video requ bleh, video requests for me, I always have trouble saying requests. When I try to say it quickly, I always end up saying request. But you can leave your video requests down below in the comments, or you can tweet me on Twitter using the hashtag MissGlamRequests, and that way I can find your um, video requests easily. So yeah, and I feel like I just said requests a lot. But anyways, um, if you want to watch my last video, I did a fall fashion video, so I will link that down below as well as at the end of this video so you guys can go and watch it if you haven't watched it already. And there's also a giveaway at the end of that video where I give away some of my favorite makeup items in a long shop bag. So definitely be sure to check that out because you can enter every single day up until the middle of um, October. So yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys later. Bye!